Welcome everybody. This is the uh, Trader Genius Daily Reviews for Stock Options for March 11th, 2019. I'm your host Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob, and uh, we're going to show you uh, a couple trades that we thought uh, were pretty good that happened this day. And uh, our goal is just to show you that on a consistent basis, there are trades that are going to be able to bring you 10 percent, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Sometimes you know you hit a home run and it's 20 or 30 percent, but that's uh, those are kind of the cherry on the top of the cake, as opposed to you know the meat and potatoes of the daily, shall we say, grind of spending you know an hour or two uh, with your computer on because you can set your computer to like ding when there's a good opportunity and then you can take a look at it. So it's not like you have to be standing tied to your computer for hours and hours and hours. Uh, and you need to have the right tools, you need to have the right mindset, you need to have the right training. And as Bruce Lee said, I do not fear the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. And that's what this is all about. We have the simulator that you can practice and practice and practice. And we can pretty much guarantee that if you're working with a coach and you have done uh, 10,000 trades on our simulator that uh, when it comes time to do real live trading, uh, it'll be a, uh, a cakewalk for you. It'll be like a black belt versus a white belt in any sport. And with that, uh, over to you, Coach Rob. How did, uh, how did we do today? Uh, today was pretty good, Scott, and just kind of carrying what the torch you were just uh, handing off to me is you know you look at the screen i'm sharing right now it's our chart it is our replay simulator if it looks confusing that's just because it's the first time you're seeing it possibly uh but the more hours you spend as you were alluding to bruce lee uh with, with these uh charts and the different lists it just becomes second nature and you kind of doesn't it never really gets easy but it does get simpler uh as you get more used to the tools and to the environment in which you're trading uh but yeah there were to answer your question, there were a couple of really good trades on the 11th. And I'm gonna I'm gonna circle back to your cherry on top analogy uh, a little bit later in this review. So this one is is cost. Uh, it, we're gonna um, start here. It's just in just past 9:45 right now. Um, we established a 9:45 top for Costco, and we're gonna move forward just one minute at a time to see how it shapes up. This orange area that we're currently in, you'll see the borders of it here in a second. It's surrounded by these blue lines. It's called the risk zone. You don't want to trade in the risk zone. And uh, the price of Costco was going up and down and up and down. And now we're finally getting out of that risky area. So trades out here have just a little bit uh, less of a chance of turning around on you and stealing, uh, stealing your trading account. <clears throat> in this case, it's uh, 9:47 and you have this powerful line right here. Costco uh, had some nice volume come in right after the 9.45 uh, time window, and it peaked uh, at the 20-day break above. That's a previous high. That's a pretty powerful line. There's a lot of different traders out there with different strategies who are planning their uh, buys and sells around that, that line and that price. So let's give it a second. It touched and it retraced, and we got some resistance. Next candle comes up, we've got a little bit of a breakout. This time it's starting to uh, break above that. It's at the high for the day, and the trend looks a little bit stronger. We we defeated that at Y point, which was limiting us as resistance on the ceiling. If you think of it like a ceiling, uh, resistance would be the ceiling, support would be the floor. So when you have an uptrend, you want to make sure you're breaking through resistance. So on the second attempt, it looks like it took a breath and it's got enough juice to go through. So let's take a look at our buy close button. This is how you practice buying calls and puts. Buy a call for a uh, stock that's on the way up and we'll go forward one minute at a time. We'll see the behavior of this stock. Now we're getting some real volume behind us. This also might've been a good entry point, but we're already in, we already have 5% in the bag. And we move forward one minute at a time. Now we're looking for exit. We're already at 9% and it's only a couple minutes into it. And that is a Y point. Uh, it comes on, that's a possible exit spot, but we're not quite at the 
uh, 10 o'clock hour yet. That's really what I'm banking on. A lot of times at the big uh, hours, the tops and bottoms of the hour, you get some support and resistance, and that's a good time to exit. So at this point, the trend is fairly old, and we see another Y point. This one is sending the stock sideways just a little bit. We're a minute away from 10 o'clock. Looked at confirmation right there. Nice red, fat red candle at the 10 o'clock hour. That's a good exit signal. Let's close now at that 13% and be happy that we did. And I'm gonna do a little change up uh, so I can show you that cherry on top uh, at the very end. We're gonna go to Google at uh, about right around the bottom of the hour, as I was just saying. Uh, sometimes trends begin and end. Um, if one trend's beginning, another one might be ending uh, as far as up versus down. So at the bottom of the hour here, let's go and see when Google starts its run. If I can get Google off the list, stand by one second, there we go. Okay. So here we are, it's another, it's it's a pretty green day uh, on the market on the 11th. And Google had had a nice run up to about 1160. Um, and Google has split stock. So this is one of the, the two Google tickers that we trade. That's why we call it Google. Uh, and so it ran up to 1160 right around there, right around the 10 o'clock hour, it peaked and it's kind of gone sideways. It's tested that previous resistance right around 1161. That's the share price. It's tested that a couple times. And now we're finally getting above that double, triple Y point right here. We're peaking at, it's almost at 1162. This is a good entry point. Let's get a call built or a call booked. I have to find my my buy and close options. All right, let's get that over here. And I do apologize, I'm on the road. Uh, I'm in the Emerald Isle, North Carolina. So using my mobile setup. So we got in there with Google. Let's see where she goes. All right, we're getting some nice confirmation. Now, as, as Coach Jess will often say, we, we don't need volume. Uh, in this case, Google is not showing any volume genius uh, along the bottom, but we got some pretty fat candles popping up. Uh, so we have a decent, decent power behind our trend. And here we are, we're only a couple minutes into it. And we're already sitting at 8% profit. Now, if, you, if you're sitting at 14% and the trend looks a little bit old, it might be time to start thinking about what is going to be our exit signal. Well, move forward to it's 1037. So it's past the bottom of the hour and it's flirting around 11, I'm gonna move the buy and close. It's right around 1165. This would be a pretty good time to, to get out. Uh, I would say it's a, it's a decent exit signal. If you wanna get confirmation, just look right here. You got 281 to your next resistance point. The market is not so strong, but it's looking pretty green. So you can roll out and see if it's gonna actually beat that, no, that would probably would have been your exit right there. So we'll take our 8%, learned our lesson, should have exited a minute earlier, but that's a really good double uh, to use your analogy. We had a couple of doubles. Now let's go back and uh, this is the one I wanna, wanna show you, uh, unveil the home run. Let's go back to that, that end, uh, the uh, top of the nine o'clock, 10 o'clock hour. And as you saw last week in uh, Coach Jay's uh, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday reviews, Boeing. Boeing is moving these days. Uh, it's, it's not all for good reasons, but something's happening with the stock. We don't really watch the news very much, uh, but of, of course you're aware of it. The, the thing that we need to focus on is that the stock is moving up and it's moving down. On this day, I'm gonna drag over the main list. Boeing had an overnight gap of $50 down. So they lost quite a bit of value in their stock. And what that does, it doesn't guarantee anything. Sometimes a gap can gap down and keep rolling down. Uh, you'll have a red day or it can gap down and fill back up uh, having a green move. It looks like through the first roughly 30 minutes of, of this day that Boeing was gapping and filling. Uh, because it opened right here at 
right around 371.50. Tested all the way down to about 365, and now it's been climbing ever since. So let's take a look at the situation we currently have at 955. Boeing is breaking a big price point, 380. Okay, so there's not a lot of, there, there's a lot of room to run. There's not much resistance in our way, and the volume has been there throughout. It's showing green. We got a lot of good indicators to support this move. So let's get in there and buy a call. Right. Within the first minute, you, just, you got 11% profit. That's a good start. Let's see where it goes. Fighting, fighting, fighting. There's really no resistance. Until you see this, the 20 day Goodness. break below. Go ahead, Scott. You're at 61%. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. I told you there's a cherry on top. <laughs> uh, as, wow. as you said, let's, let's call it good right there. Uh, it didn't really uh, align with the, the time windows, but there was such a powerful move on this stock. Now, SF is lurking. You, you've been in there for about 10 minutes. That 20 day break below is right there with with SF. Let's let's not let's not get greedy. 61% is a grand <laughs> one. Uh, I think I think in this case it's let's not get super greedy because uh, 61% is like oh yeah oh, home run as you said. So what I can you go like one minute further and just see if it did continue or if it didn't? As you wish. Okay. Yeah, it did continue. <laughs> And there it's starting to think about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No one's saying this. So the typical, my typical Warren Buffett quote, he was successful, he said, because he got in too late and he got out too early. So we got out maybe a little bit early, but when you're at 61%, do you really care if you're at 61.5%? Hopefully not. <laughs> That's awesome. And, uh, to and your point. Is, go ahead. Awesome. Gonna say to your point, the if you want want perfection, which is not what we're after, we want excellence, mastery. The perfect entry would have been way down here at 365. But right. if you had a 51 dollar gap down, and uh, it started out in the first couple minutes going from 370 down to 365, could you have any not earthly? a call. Yeah, <laughs> what are you doing? That's that's just madness. Uh, sure. There is no way you could have any semblance that this stock is going to take off another thirty thirty dollars north. Yeah, uh, yeah. And and why would you try? That's madness. Uh, yeah. And when the indicators tell you it's good entry criteria, that's my tip. Don't don't aim for protection or perfection. Just get in when the indicators tell you it's obvious, and then get out when they tell you it's obvious. The trend is your friend, and you have to see the trend before it can be your friend. Good deal. And this is another great example of when you're playing the game. Uh, I keep talking about baseball, but if you're if you're up in the stands watching the game, you're not going to hit a home run. You've got to be at the batter's plate, and you've got to be swinging that bat at the perfect pitch. And that's exactly what you did here, 61.4%. and. Well, 11 minutes, that's a pretty nice day on one of the trades. And we had another one that was almost 13, another one that was almost eight. So uh, that's an excellent way to improve your, uh, your capital position. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, to use your baseball analogy one last time, the, uh, you're never going to know how to swing unless you get in the batting cages. So pick up a bat. Practice. Don't have any pride. Just you have to you have to take some swings in practice uh, before you can take it into a live game. So That's get really it. True. Ten day trial is is available at all times, and uh, it's free. There's no commitment. There's no risk. Uh, get it. Just get the program and start playing around with it. Get get comfortable with it and start developing your skills and your strategy. Yeah, and then learn and master and use our coaches because they'll. Uh, They'll really shorten the learning curve. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. That's it. All right. 
Well, thank you, Coach Rob. It's been an amazing day. Uh, I think I think we beat Coach Jay now because he had one really, really good day, but I don't think it was 61%. Could be wrong. <laughs> so we are, we, we're going to start this competition now. Who can find the biggest trade? Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing this. Thank you everyone for joining us. Remember, you have access to the software. You have access to experts that know how to use the software successfully. And uh, you need to have the tools. You need to have the right mindset because the biggest problems you're going to run into are between your ears when it comes to greed and fear. And uh, we help you with all of that. We have excellent training. And we're here to help you be successful. And it's pretty nice if you can, uh, you know, be prepared. I mean, you have the warm-ups whenever you, you know, if you're batting, you, you warm up before you get up to the plate. So you need to have a little warm-up time. But the idea of, uh, you know, 9.30 when the market opens and by uh, 10.30 you've made uh, three trades, one of which is 61%, is pretty nice. Uh, it's pretty nice cherry. And we want to emphasize this does not happen every day. But when it does happen, it's pretty nice that you're in the game and able to take advantage of it. So our goal is to show you that there's opportunities in the market every day, Monday to Thursday, so that everyone should have a long weekend. And uh, and we're going to leave it at that. So join us, and uh, we'll see you in our next show. Bye for now.